Hey Andrew, um, so yeah, thanks for sending your code, and I have a much better idea of um, how I can help you out here. So, um, let's see what we got. So, um, I can see you got the basic idea that um, you're keeping a collection of items in your um, player class and a collection of items in your uh, room class so that um, you can move them, you know, as you take or drop, move them between uh, the, a room and a player. Um, the problem is, um, as you, you found out, that um, when you get a prompt from a um, uh, from the from the user here, when you do your take, what you get is a string, and you want to what you want to retrieve. Oh, I passed it. You want to retrieve a um, an item, right? So um, let's take a look because there's a similar kind of situation. I can find it again. Let's see. Yeah, with the um, exits. You remember we did some modifications so that you could um, set a um, an exit by giving a string and the um, and the room that's the actual exit. Um, so let's see how that got implemented and then we'll, we'll see because there's um, you're going to need to to use uh, this idea of the hash map so um, in the room we set up a hash map with a string and a room object um, and there are exits and then um, that way you could set the exit by doing a put and you and you put the string and the neighbor and then when it came time to get the um, exit you just have to pass it the direction and you can say um, if you say get direction um, it'll return the room with that direction so that's a similar kind of thing that we want to do with um, uh, with the items so what we want then is a hash map here with um, a string and an item. And so we have to change this also. Right? Hash map. String, comma, item. I compile. Okay, and then, yeah, when you want to loop through these guys, um, what you need to do is um, you can you can actually get a set object when I need to import this um, of keys. Um, oops. Keys, or whatever you want to call it. Um, on our um, items hash map, we just say um, there's this method called get uh, key set, and that'll get you a um, a set is again is a collection um, that has no duplicates, which is what we what we need, right? If we're having a our, our keys have to be unique in any hash map, so we we get that set of keys. And then we can iterate through those keys. Um, and the way we do that is something like this. Let's say for we want to make an iterator. String iter equals keys dot iterator. And then um, Yes, go away. And then, um, so, can I? Yeah, iter is the name for my iterator. So I'm going to say iter dot has next. And let's say we need a semicolon after that. 
Okay. And then what we can do is just say return string equals return string plus iter dot next. Um, and oops. Okay, you want to stick items on the end there and then return return string. Oh, you know what I like to do too is I'm going to go to edit and say auto layout. That kind of cleans up the layout a little bit. Um, just to make sure you have spaces between your methods and stuff. So anyhow, so now um, that's our get items. What else do we need to do? Let me see here. Cannot find. Oh, okay, so we need to import um, the set class. Let's do that. Import java.util.set. So all these, you know, uh, main collection things are in the Java util package. And iterator too. Yeah, I, I think iterators in that in Java util too. Seems like it should be. Okay, there we go. So, so that compiles, and then we want to do something similar in um, the in the player class, right? And then um, take a look at how you um, you know how you implemented things for the for the rooms, and um, see if you can figure out from there. What you need to do to um, uh, with your with your take. So um, so for any hash map and, and look at your your room stuff too, where you already have um, the exits. So basically, the way you you um, put things into a hash map is with put, and the way you get things out is with get. So um, See if that if that gives you what you need. If if you um, work on it for a while and you're still not sure where to go next, um, give me a holler and we'll we'll uh, work out the next steps.